here is familiar with the notion that children working in theater are mature beyond their years. <laughs> Raise your hand. Okay, that's not a foreign concept, but it's a thing. I promise, it's definitely a thing. Um, I remember this one project I was so excited to be called back for, and I thought I would just go right back in and sing the same thing that I had initially auditioned with. Um, it was, he's got high hopes, he's got high hopes. It's the one about the ant who can't move the rubber tree plant, you know, things that kids like to sing about. Um, and it famously ends with a ker-plop. <laughs> That's my least favorite thing I ever had to do with that. Curve plop! I hated it. Um, but right before I was about to go in, the monitor came out and said, so our casting director would really like to hear something different today. Uh, he wants to hear just something you love. Sing something that makes you happy. <laughs> so I got really, really excited, and I went to the back of the book, and I went into the room and leaned on the piano like this. <laughs> My one love affair didn't get anywhere from the start. To send me a joke like winter and snow, it is hard. Wasn't smart. Oh, you didn't do right by me, as they say in the auditioning to play an 11-year-old boy. So, I look down to say my thank yous, and everyone in the room, their face is like... <laughs> across the board. It's, it, it is the biggest, like, I've ever seen. The accompanist, the reader, and the casting director breaks the silence, and he says, Alice, I'm going to be very honest with you. That made me a little uncomfortable. <laughs> <laughs> and and I'm, I'm this little Irving Berlin fanatic. I, I don't know what he's talking about or why he feels this way. So he elaborates. He just says, uh, just, just speaking as a casting director, never show anyone that, ever. <laughs> he said, um, it's a bit jarring to hear the voice and really see the choices of a divorcee in her 30s um, coming out of a male child. <laughs> um, just, you, you, are, you are so talented, but uh, I don't know what to do with that. No one will ever be able to cast that. <laughs> so from that point on, I was a good little boy, and I only sang songs written for good little boys, even though that jaded, sultry, audromic Jessica Rabbit that was living deep inside me was ready to emerge at any moment and show everyone that I was more complicated than Gary and Deanna. Anyway, I did have a fantastic fantasy life. I used to imagine everyone behind the table saying to me, Alice, do you want to sing Agent Ender Inappropriate Material? I'd say, yeah, no shit. Where is love? Does it fall from skies above? Is it underneath the willow tree that I've been Thank you. 
And if a day is rough for me, having you there's enough for me. Nobody, no, nobody. 